securing the water rune for Brile. They understand how important it is for Puck to have a good game. Juggernaut on top of uh, CS 24 and 9. Sacred uh, trying to catch up has a casual bracer. For now, it's all about the survivability. And Being Matthew, tanky, Matthew. Yeah, he stuck around mid lane. He was hoping alone would return a little bit faster. But first blood going to DJ with that rotation into mid. And that's left sacred. Cool. X mark into torrent. He's dead. Tomato with his healing ward up top. Just perfectly sustained in that lane. Very little they can do to force him and bully him away. Good D ward there and down bottom. Jabs will get X torrented. Cleared out by the Tidebringer. So even before the Zeus ulti is ready, you see the green light came up in the middle of that scrap. You know he was ready to KS just in case. <laughs> Dubu in a bit of a trouble. Yeah, shield crash towards him, goes for the TP, but there's the Zeus ulti. Alone secures the kill from across the map. Fnatic's win condition is Timado. around mid. Trying to get some stacks going for themselves as well around that triangle. There's also one down in the bottom jungle, which Pandamu has also placed an observer ward next to just to keep tabs on it. Riles move up to top though with a the coil there. Will allow Tomado to spin on the pangle there. Fatal bonds from Dubu help out and a very simple, straightforward kill for Fnatic. Even though no Fnatic, Fnatic team members were involved in that, that kill. Dubu gonna walk up to the triangle. Trying to scout out some stacks. Alone and Matthew zapping back into the warlock, but the Omni Slash clears through the Matthew Rubik and Alone is still gonna get chased down here by Bryle and Tomato. Oh, I don't know, they can't dive under Without a doubt. He's gonna get run out by DJ. And cursed. And he's Snapped the coil. Yeah, thrown back into the puck. Pretty tanky on this Kunker, and with a boat over the top, oh, maybe he can slip away. Well, that Wrath of Nature gonna zap him down. Pakaz, a few more hits here from Bryle's puck. Should finish him off. The Coco's run is not enough. Pandamu might get jumped on him. Uh, but it's Bryle puck as well. Courier flying overhead, but DJ with an avalanche and a toss should finish him off and a double kill for Bryle. Get the Courier as well on the way out, while Tomato just gonna spin TP away from top lane. I'm gonna call call this one, Gary. Um, I think Tomato might end this game with zero deaths. The, this is how good of a juggernaut game this is. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. I like you said in the draft, right? Nothing to go through the spin. Nothing really to catch him. There's, uh, t again, telekinesis is the real primary form of initiation and catch they have. X mark is there, sure, but it's that instant jump that Matthew has as he is caught out, graved up. Pandamu trying to save his buddy, but Matthew body blocked by the Treants as they do Thunder God's Wrath in towards the Tiny and the Pug. Bryle about to die. The Rolling Thunder catching the TP, cancelling jabs his maneuver away, finding the profit in a one-for-one -one trade. Pandamu and Pakaz join the freight. While alone from the back end, walks into Tomato, but you see that, right? Four heroes from Thunder. Okay, what's going on? doesn't get uh, dewarded. Yeah, Smoke, Bryle, and down. DJ looking for an opening. Can they clear some camps here? Ancients might be a little bit difficult. Large camp they could go for, but a kill first would definitely be worth their while. Hand them out, tossed up before he can grave, and the jump forward from Bryle, wanting to find Matthew as well. A stolen waning rift. He's gonna try and help out the Rubik, slip away from this, but look at who's arrived. It's Tomato with his spin. Matthew destroyed under his own tier one mid. And now the golem. In comes Dubu to drop the rock on them. Poor Pango caught in that coil, does swashbuckle away. Now the rolling thunder to escape. Oh, oh Zeus, he wants to go in. Try it's a lot of damage now. Good damage back. Brawl's already popped his one, but the catch in there from Sacred and Pakaz. Tomato, he might get slapped here, turns into a piggy, picked up the DD we'll rune. Pakaz with the face boots, the X mark could be coming, but it's the Thunder God's Wrath. Lightning from the heavens takes down the jug. And once again, the Costi curse to play it. One um, death on Tomato. That, that's now. on him. He overextended, and DJ's <laughs> in a lot of trouble. There is. Uh, no way he's getting out of this one. They turned around the fight with uh, Pangler managing to get the Rolling Thunder and Alone was keeping the distance on Zeus. He got like seven, eight Arc Lightnings uh, that connected on a couple of heroes. Yeah, look at that, 2.7k damage. That's, that's pretty ridiculous numbers. You know, as well as his Ogre Axe. He, wait, he's not buying BKB? Oh, Pakaz, is he ahead of the curve here? Some five head stuff going on with this Kunker build. Fnatic want to force a fight though. DJ, smoke parks, reveals his blink, tosses the Zeus across with a coil broken alone. 
dead. Big ult is expended though here by Fnatic as the Omni Slash gonna catch up Akaz, but look at how tanky he is. The Reva keeps him safe while the two supports try give chase here. Another big avalanche in from DJ. Catching Matthew and Picard on the way out to Mardo. We'll clear up another one and Fnatic. Three kills with no trade for Thunder. Perfect team fight for a Fnatic. They get the D1 here. And Matthew on this Rubik. One of the better heroes just to sit behind a tower, zap that creep waves, delay the push in from Fnatic in that mid lane. Does have a Vanning Rift, so Buck needs to be a bit more careful. Another wow. snapped coil. DJ on point. Yeah, time and time again. Ryle and DJ pairing up beautifully. Thunder with a reaction though, responding to Fnatic's aggression with a trade out there on the Tiny and Pakaz with the Heart of Taras oh, tanking through bonds. the Omni Slash. Spin with the Fatal Bonds in onto him, but the Grave comes in. Maybe a turnaround play here on Tomato and Pryle, but now they chill for a sec. Oh, Pryle, he's, he's played aggressively into this. They've got the armor toggle up from Pakaz, trying to slip away with the face boots past the Treants. He's gonna toggle, no he's not. Killed off. That's gonna be a full team wipe. What an execution from Fnatic. Unfortunately for Konka, he did not have phase boots available to run through the tree and then seems like they're just gonna go inside the Roche pit because they have some ability that they use. It's also Juggernaut with the Aegis, so pretty difficult to kill. Yeah, really challenging. Matthew with a stolen spin and the lift back on the tiny. Shucks the avalanche towards the pebble boy as Pango coiled. Grave comes, but uh, it's not going to save Sacred here, surely he should fall to Bryle. Pakar's kind of caught out bottom lane as well. He's under tier 2, TP's coming through, but Thunder have to buy sacred. back, react to this aggression from Fnatic. They're trying to split back towards their high ground. Dubu and Jams, very forward though with the X Mark Torrent, dragging him back. The Kunkka will focus into him, but DJ tosses him out, chucks the Prophet back to safety while Bryle went way too deep. Picked off by Thunder in the back lines and DJ. 200 health remaining. X marked up. Dubu TP's home, but they finish off the tiny. Good punch back from Thunder Awaken. Buyback from Sacred and Pakas way too tanky, even though they decided to go on him. With forward now, though, with a smoked up heroes behind him. Looking for Sacred's Pangle there, and yeah, the coil. Once more, going to be found and snapped. DJ with the avalanche toss. Tiny combo. Orb forward. Should finish off this Pangolier once and for all. Not a good look for me. Look at what DJ has queued up. DJ, aka Don't Judge. He is going for Echo Saber and pause for a Tiny. Oh, Tomato! So close! Barely gets out with his spin. A Panda Moon trapped up on the high ground. Grave TP. No more stunts coming. So he is back to Fountain safely. Good, uh, good moves from Panda Moon. That four staff to get on high ground, understanding that they have no stuns available. Coil is not there yet, least. <laughs> Maybe the Dazzle or the Zeus. What's the vision like here? The sentries around, but no real observer wards. Thunder God's Wrath to give vision over. Thunder, the boat onto DJ, but the back's down from Jabs. Three man coil from Bryle. They've caught the Zeus out, and this Rolling Thunder is going to try and turn it back. With the Golden Drop, rock. though, Dubu sets up the fight for Fnatic beautifully. Bryle has fallen, though, and the Juggernaut is onto the Kunker doing some good damage. Pakar's tanky, but nowhere near tanky enough. Will not survive. There's the toss from DJ. Make sure he dies. DJ finding the target. Uh, they invested way too much on Tiny and the uh, Dubu immediately. Smoke. First point of contact. Oh, it's going to be Dubu's Warlock Flamer revealing Cape the smoke. And moves away instantly. Very nicely done. Still going to get jumped upon by Sacred. The X Mark boat coming in too. The Golem dropped in onto Pakaz. But DJ straight into the back. Avalanche toss to chuck him back. Jabs will clear through Pandamu. So no grave, no dazzle, no heal, Dubu no nothing. Still Dubu still alive. The tanky Warlock is the Omni Slash. Clears through the Pango. And Pakar's on the run. Thunder Awaken, that was their one time to shine, and they get dismantled completely. Dubu Giga Chad, he See breaks, you later. breaks the smoke, uh, tanks pretty much everything. They didn't have any dust available. Pops the Glimmer Cape, has Lotus Orb, so he's, uh, he's super tanky. But th this is why we said, uh, this is why we said Dubu on Warlock, uh, one of the best ones out there. His positioning in the fights has been amazing and also understanding that uh, even if he's frontlining, he's still not going to be dying. And I also want to see, Gary, how how close I was to 
being right. Oh, Tomato? Yeah, Tomato won that. That one time that he overextended, I said it's, he's going to have zero deaths, Just but...